It was in the nine o'clock hour last night that we were here analyzing the radar in DeKalb County, very concerned at what we were seeing. At the same time, storm spotter Bob Wazak was taking pictures out in DeKalb County between 915 and 945. Look at this intense wall cloud. He said when he was shooting this, it was pitch black outside, but he was using a night vision feature on his camera to pull out this wall cloud. And look at the last image. You can see the clear funnel cloud coming down now, ready to make contact with the ground. And it was at that moment, right around 10 o'clock, then all of the warnings started coming out of DeKalb County, moving into Kane County, and eventually that morphed into what was the Naperville tornado, and that kept moving. And that was our most extensive damage as this traveled to the east through Woodridge, through Darien, Burr Ridge, and eventually dissipating over Willow Springs. And the second one that was confirmed today in Plainfield, just north of downtown Plainfield, and then it moved to Mistwood Golf Club. But the winds were most intense with this EF tornado, EF3 tornado that moved from east side of Naperville to Willow Springs, traveling parallel here on the south end of 75th Street, right through Woodridge, Darien, and Burr Ridge. Last night, the top winds were 140 miles per hour. And then our EF0 Plainfield to Romeoville, just on the north side of town, and then it moved to the Mistwood Golf Course here with max winds at 85 miles per hour. Storm teams, uh, survey teams are going out again tomorrow, so we may be adding to this list if they do confirm them. But right now the EF0, the winds were to 85. The other one was an EF3. Now, thankfully, it's quiet tonight. 60 degrees for us. The dew point temperature is only 42, so it feels a lot cooler. And the skies have cleared out, and that's the trend tonight. Hour by hour, winds relax, sunshine to start the day, and temperatures will be on the cool side in the suburbs, probably in the mid and upper 40s. Otherwise, about 51 in Gary, 46 in LaPorte, 55 in the city. Partly cloudy, quiet tomorrow that gives us a lot of time to start the cleanup a morning shower Wednesday possible but what we're hoping is that that chance is very small in the morning on Wednesday we'd like to see it without thunder this dry ridge of high pressure hopefully will hold true so this weak disturbance in Iowa sort of fizzles out falls apart to the south of us only leaving that brief shower chance in the morning it's the next storm that's going to be lining up in the plains for Thursday that's going to increase the rain chances Thursday afternoon but especially Friday I I think Friday is going to be our rainy day as temperatures hit about 82 with scattered storms. The weekend, maybe a couple of showers, Brad, but it is good to see this short term dry at least to get through a full day of cleanup without dealing with more weather. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you, Mary Kay.